Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the other day I noticed that our rhubarb plant really, really, really needed to be um, harvested, I guess. It needed to be cut. Rhubarb is a stalk plant. Like that's the part of the plant that you use for cooking and baking. So rhubarb actually originates from China and then from China it went to Europe, then from Europe it came to America supposedly with Christopher Columbus. Um it's extremely bitter in taste. The leaves are also poisonous, so I don't know why you would, but seriously do not eat them. Um if you wait too long to cut your rhubarb, it'll go to seed and then after that it's just not good and it has kind of a woody taste. But when you're cooking or baking with rhubarb, you need to use a lot of sugar. So this recipe called for half a cup of butter, which is just one butter stick, one cup of oatmeal, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth teaspoon of salt one cup of brown sugar, one cup of flour, but I used almond flour, and then a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. So then you mix that all up together. Now this mix is supposed to be for the entire recipe. So the idea is that you put half of the mix on the bottom, then put rhubarb down and then put the other half on top. However, I realized that for a nine by 13 pan, which the recipe suggests, that is just simply not enough. So I use the entire mixture on the bottom of the pan and then I layered in my rhubarb. You can put in as much as your heart desires. And then I decided to mix up a, another batch of the like crisp mixture. Since this is in fact a rhubarb crisp, I didn't mention that, but I should have. My apologies. So here's the part where I put down the rhubarb. It's all chopped up. I used a lot. This part is just personal preference though. And then this is the second mix that I'm putting on top. Honestly, that's what I would do because having just like... And then you put as much sugar and cinnamon as you want on the rhubarb. I shouldn't have put down that little bit of the mix on top of the rhubarb. I always forget the cinnamon and sugar. You should use more cinnamon than you think that you need. There, I use too much. But since rhubarb is quite bitter, you want to use more than you would think you'd need for this recipe honestly just for baking with rhubarb in general use more sugar than you think is probably necessary and let's be real you can't have enough sugar this is the rest of the rhubarb that i had cut So while I was washing the rhubarb, this is the finished product. Mm -mm. 
Yes, I know I'm not very good at chopping stuff up evenly, but this is my first time doing rhubarb on my own for the woman that I work for. I cut up rhubarb quite a bit, which I kind of enjoy doing, but for my own rhubarb, I did not do as good of a job or care as much, lol. Honestly, this is so good. Right now on my plate, it doesn't look great, but trust me, it is. It's amazing with ice cream or whipped cream. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow for another video. Bye guys.